Hello there, welcome to another video, Surfcat. How's going on lads? It's 2024 and my first video in this year. By the by, a happy new year to all my viewers. Uh, let's hope positive this year. Uh, the job market constraints which we faced in 2023 may overcome. Let's hope so. Alright, so what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to build a application uh, with a scroll view inside our view controller by using the storyboard and here I'm using the Xcode 15 which is the latest one and let's start doing it uh, here I have already created a project uh, and uh, the first step is you go to the storyboard and here you can find here this is my view controller over here here I'm going to do the scroll here I'm going to apply the scroll actually so uh, let me check for the objects all right and uh, I'm clicking this plus button and I'm going to bring over here the scroll view and uh, you just need to drag it over here if you want that be like this or else here I prefer to be here and so that it won't cover the top bar all right so this is scroll view I'm first going to put on constraints over here with a zero 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 easy this is our first step all right so once you're done there you see error, uh, error over here in the storyboard it's nothing but it's because of the content layout guide so what you need to do here is you just click click on that one and go over here and you may find this content layout guides so it's checked already by default what you need to do is you just need to uncheck that suddenly the error got disappeared over here so this is the first step and the second one is I'm going to bring out a view UI view over here and you just need to drag it over there inside this the same like there and put all over the constraint over here with the heights and everything let, then we put the constraints all right so let me check for this uh, here I need zero 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 and I want a height of maybe a uh, thousand two hundred consider thousand two hundred let it be like that all right so I'm going to add this five constraints all right this is a second step once you've done that you have here something like this and the error is over showing there so what's the next step is that's a very important thing you need to click on the view over here and you just need to drag it inside this view not in the, the scroll view inside this view this view and you put there equal widths and uh, one more thing there same thing same procedure equal heights that should remove the error over there perfect so what well, that's when it's that's done we have here the perfect thing all right so you can see that uh, when you click on this and when you try to drag it moves like this part pretty cool all right so after this what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go again this may be controller and let me do over here one this then comes the next step is uh, click on this V controller and you find here that simulated size is fixed so let's change it to free form and let's say the height to be 1200 which I already put there so that makes sense all right so pretty cool then over here we have this 1200 1, multiply that should be multiplied by one I'm going to click this one and delete this constraint second one all right perfect perfect so what I'm going to do the next is let me check uh, whether we have done correct so in order to do that I just go to views two of the views and clicking one of them and putting it over here and uh, let me make some constraints for this as well with the color background as well let it be 888150 and let me give some color over here let it be system pink 
okay and let me come to the bottom as well I'm putting the same I have view over here and let me drag and give some colors as well I want to put that as a zero maybe a half height 150 and okay and let me give a color for this as well say let it be green okay that's fine no problem okay let me run and check here we go I have this here here perfect I have this constraint that's perfect that's pretty cool and easy if in case if you find something like that if you have difficulty in scrolling the complete view over here so what you need to do here is uh, you need to click on this part and this is a easy thing here you find there there's something like which you called inside the height view this is an additional point uh, which we say that priority 1000 constant 1200 uh, and what's the difference between the constant constant is something like that we put a static one which is 4200 I uh, put the height for the scroll view like that okay and what's the uh, difference between the priority priority is actually uh, a frame layout guide uh, we if you want to change the priority uh, of our equal height uh, constraint from 1000 to 750 for ex say example 7 to 750 like this and what's the concept behind this is uh, this allows us to scroll whenever we have a content higher than the original size okay if we have the content than the original size you can prefer the like this priority so that makes sense all right so in case if you have multiple objects inside, inside multiple materials or whatever things inside this if you have the content much more uh, higher uh, than the original science this could uh, give the priority and adjust the height all right that's it simple so that's the additional point which i need to mention so this is in the xcode 15 this is the latest one in 2024 all right perfect that's it so it's easy and simple all right then that's all in this video thank you for watching